Halloween podcast. Let's go. We got Finn, Ferd, and Perry in the cut. It's yeah. Halloween. Happy Halloween, guys. Um, fuck, this is going to be fun, dude. I didn't get to dress up this weekend, straight up. And Tell I'm the so people happy. why. Tell so the people happy why. That I get to put on this costume, put it to good use. I'm just looking at myself in the mirror there, and like you guys can see me here, and holy shit. This is fucking sick. Dude, I wish you were there, dude. I know. I yeah. was sick all weekend. Dude, literally hit me like on the... Th- it slowly hit me like Wednesday, but like I was good Wednesday. Then Thursday a little bit, but not really. And then we didn't go out till Friday this week. And it hit me that I think the hardest Friday morning. Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Friday morning, you were like, we went out to breakfast with Tim's buddy, Evan, who is like on like our plug for UCF. And you were like... Yo, I can't, I can't come out to the spirit splash, which we'll get into. I guess that started our week in a sec yeah. here, but yeah, you were down. What happened to you? I don't know, dude. My throat was just like killing me. I was like body aches. I think I just caught something. It was like, yeah, it's, it's like what? 48 hours, I guess. Yeah. It was yeah. a tough 48. You think it was the MILF? Yeah, uh, definitely the mom. Bro, my mom was like, that's why you don't kiss random girls. I'm like, bro, it's, facts, so true. it's yeah. a woman, though. It is true, dude. I don't it kiss random But it's random. a woman. Like, you would think, like, it would be, like, a younger girl. You know what I mean? Like, a college kid that would be, like, getting you sick and stuff. But if it's, like, it's a fucking married mom, that's well, I don't crazy. I think that was the reason, but. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't for think so being either. A week and, like, nine weeks of partying. It just happens. Yeah. yeah this is so. honestly. It's honestly been like the farthest. Like I got sick on every single trip we've been on during yeah. the fall, the spring. Me too. Not, actually, the spring too. I've been. I got sick. Yeah. In Illinois, I don't think I got sick in the season two. No. But season one, I got sick week two. Then season three, season three, I got sick week five at Auburn, or four at Auburn. Oh, five. Five, okay, so what? Five. I, yeah, five at Auburn, and then now week nine at UCF. So immune system's getting better. <laughs> Next week's <laughs> season seven, we go the whole tour, no <laughs> sickness. Do I think I? If, I don't know if we can make that. Honestly, no. I've been sick every tour, and I haven't been sick. So yeah, you haven't actually. No. You usually because did. You used to eat. fucking ripping the gym, bro. Ripping the gym, eating good. Tell the people my what's the regimen. Shots. What's the regimen for Perry the Platypus? Um, cocaine and hookers. <laughs> <laughs> no but we'll start off actually our week here at ucf chance we'll probably kind of like fill you in yeah, i guess just asking yeah. you guys a bunch of questions so i think this is going to be a better podcast you're actually fur i'm gonna be just like super curious like you're actually fur like you're mute you don't fucking talk you just have green letty and you fucking like wooden teeth well uh, should i, I just mean, go like this whole time talk if you no 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 talk no no i actually wait can i can i hear your parry noise? <laughs> you do a meow better so your meow is actually really good yeah, for the is. people that know like Zaps can actually meow and like speak to cats. But like I can. the pair, the platypus is just a hard noise to make. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Yeah, you just, look, I can't <laughs> take you seriously. Your right head, now. it makes you look like, <laughs> like I special feel needs retar- a I, look, sorry, I feel <laughs> sped. Sorry, I feel sped. Can we clip that out? I feel sped. No, we're not clipping it out. That's just you as bad as saying the I just word, don't man. feel like, fuck, I just know my head's like crooked, bent, and just like... Like this thing's flimming in the like, way. Uh, try, to, like, try to squeeze it a bit. Yeah, Yo, you look like uh, the little Caesars guy Most if he did like in. 19 years no, of fuck. coke straight. Dude, I feel like if Phineas went to like jail for the stupidest yeah, thing. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, Keep it's the top it. of your there head. There you go. Though. Is it good? That nose looks way better. Nose okay. looks better. Nose is better. Here's oh, how it's going to work. So we're going to fill, me and Zaps are going to fill you in. Or should I say Perry and yeah. myself are going to fill was you the in spirit, on the weekend. How was the spirit fucking spirit splash yeah it's a so we were here at halloween for ucf and it's their homecoming ironically every i think it's on the weekend or it might not be halloween every year but homecoming weekend every homecoming they have this thing called spirit splash it is every homecoming which is the probably one of the biggest homecoming traditions in all of i guess colleges across the nation but probably one of the most stupidest and i'll tell you why so it's a spirit splash so it's thousands of kids go to this like little like ankle high body of water in the middle of campus okay and i'm talking like a it's a circular thing and and there's thousands yeah. of people all surrounding this pond yeah and they've got announcers and like cheerleaders and don't get and me shit. wrong like before it was shit it looked amazing like the whole idea yes. was sick yeah like but yeah keep going into it about what it actually was so the premise of it is you're supposed to catch these ducks now there's a couple mascots and some cheerleaders they throw them into the pond and they only have i think someone said it was about like just under a hundred or something. So there's these small, like literally, like, literally what you exactly think like rubber duckies, like squishy rubber duckies. And it's a flex 
to catch one of these. Like, to have one of these ducks or multiple is just, you're the coolest fucking kid. And like, I was like, is there the a odds? prize? What? What are the odds? Honestly, like, There's I was on the outside with uh, Tim's dad, and we got two. That's, but that's fucked. So, like, I don't even know how that's I, possible. Dude, they gave out so much. They had at least 16 volunteers throwing out ducks. Yeah, like, it could have been. You think everyone got one? No. No. no I didn't get one. So, no. here's, here's how it works. So, it's basically... We show up at 12. We thought it started at 12. We're there at 11.50, okay? We think we get right to the front. We literally just went to, like, the perimeter, found this fucking guy. I don't know his name. Let's call him Jimmy. And we're like, yo, can we just sit here? He's like, yeah, that's fine. We're thinking we're blessed. 10 minutes, we literally are at the front of the fucking line. There's at least, man, if I said 1,500 kids, or no, you mm, don't think. Probably, like, maybe 900, like 900 900 yeah, 000. around 1,000 kids all around this thing. We're front row. I'm like, holy shit, this is blessed, right? I can... I'm pretty confident me, me fucking Evan and Tim can just rip this shit because Zaps was filming on the outside. Tim had double iPhone in here. This was wild. He had double iPhone just running in. Bizarre. And I'll get to that in a sec. And the guy's like... What was the need for the double iPhone? Uh, I think just different angles. I don't know. But um, yeah, I don't know if there was a need for the iPhone, the double iPhone now that I'm thinking about it. But five minutes left and the guy's like, we all we hear is one more hour and we're like, what do you mean one more hour? And the guy's like, did you really think you, this guy beside us, like, did you really think you can get to the front of the line and not have to wait here? I've been here for five hours, Five dude. hours. Five and he's hours. like, the race about starts that. at one. The countdown starts at one. And I'm like, oh, you got to be shitting me. We stood there for an hour just holding our spot. You Hol stood there for an yeah, hour? We dude. had to. We can't leave. An hour. You don't oh want to lose your God. spot. We had, we had prime real estate. You know, Anyways. You didn't get one, so it wasn't that prime. No, I'll tell you why. So, so it's me, Evan, and Tim. Tim's filming, Evan and I, who's his boy. And countdown goes, 10 seconds, bam, we book it. We fucking, I feel like, I think we were one of the first ones right in front of the the board where they were going to throw it. We're like prime real estate. The guy said, get 10 feet in front of it. We're there. I'm right there. We have elbows up, knees bent. No one's coming near us. Like every, even the guy that was in the front of the line with, so I was like, you run into the water. It, so I thought, I originally thought they, they would have like, the they ducks just in the throw middle. them in the middle and it's just a war. Yeah. So no, it's about five minutes. They like let everyone go in and then they're going to start throwing it randomly. So, so like they, just, they, they just played music and everyone was jumping up and down like yes. a rave. And then everything calmed down. It was pretty chill, and then it's like, time for the ducks. And then they start and then throwing, throwing them like a t-shirt so thing at a like hockey a game. It's, yeah, it's, like it's a literally like dog. that. It doesn't so matter when you get there. Exactly, no. which kind of sucks. Well, I, I felt like, for example, you are the people can't throw that No, nah, listen to this. Can the people not throw All that the way far? on the side, okay? It's a half an oval, so it's like yeah. long on this way. I was at the corner, like the furthest, corner. The furthest way I could be close to the water, to the stage, and me and uh, Tim's dad were over there, and we got to. How did, so they threw They it threw it in every direction. They threw it to you. Yeah, they went they to the edge, to you, so threw it's it. Far, it's like, you can make it, you could throw it outside of the pond. They had volunteers across the whole stage. So you throwing. could throw it over, to the, over the pond? No. Nah. No, not People, that There was no one already in the back, but like on the yeah. sides, like there was like long distance wise for the half of the oval, like they threw it pretty much like, I feel like Gless <laughs> like was thrown the in there versus outside. Uh. Yeah, but... It was, I don't know how, you, that was fucking bizarre. So it didn't really matter. Like it mattered to a certain extent, but it didn't. You could have been a few rows back and you would have been fine it's if you just, just push your way there. Yeah. But I remember the guy beside us was like, I was like, how aggressive does this thing get? He's like, he like, cause we like took our tarps off. And he's like, yeah, man, I don't think anyone's going to fuck with you if you grab one of these ducks. It's like, okay. So I felt, felt good about that. Right. We get in there. Other people take this very seriously when keep in mind these ducks, there's no reward. Like you think Zero. it's like a reward. It's just a flex. So it doesn't matter if you get a duck or not. There was a dude when they start throwing them, there's this chick and a dude. He's like arm around her trying to pick her up and grab this <laughs> duck off her. And then people around her are like, yo, get the fuck off her. And he's screaming at her like, she stole my duck. She stole my duck. Like pissed off. And I was like, yo, this is, this is weird. Like you can let the girl go, bro. Okay. Like it's a fucking duck. So question. Yeah. The type of people that go to this duck. Yes. Hunt. I think I know where you're getting at here. Is it just dust pans or what? No, I think it's like a freshman thing. It's seven, eight, ninety-five percent freshmen, five percent dust blue hair chicks. And like seventy-five percent dust tan, blue hair freshmen. people. Yes. Yeah, so I would say it was it was just it's more so a thing when you're a freshman, it's sick. And after that, it's like, wow, I wasted an yeah. hour. And some people, five hours. That's and insane. Yeah. So like, it's called a spirit splash. Keep in mind, cool homecoming thing. I mean, never there's do no it. reward to There's it. zero reward. You could go to the store reward. and buy Not a to duck. mention, Legit. bro, and once everyone's in there, they throw the ducks and five minutes later, they go, okay, and now a word from our women's basketball team. Yeah, and yeah. like after all the hype, everyone leaves. 
And then after that speech, literally some people were still there. They were like, all right, everyone get out of the pool. Everyone get out what? of the pond. Imagine waiting five hours. They should have done like a fucking little It was 15 minutes something. in the water. 15 minutes in the water. It would have been sick if they did a rave in the water. Yeah. And it looked like that's what it was going to be like. I thought everyone was just going to go there and then maybe that was the vibe. Turns into a little party. Like a party. I thought it was very anticlimactic because we yeah. were just like, we got in, waited so long because we, again, thought it started at 12, started at one and it was just, it was done. Yeah. What was the difference of people there? At 11.50 to, like, when it started at 1. Well, it actually started like getting did, packed. Like the I, back would just get bigger. I got, I started getting shots around the whole place when we had to wait for that hour. And it took me, like, I went back in, like, 30. And it was still 30 to go. And I couldn't get all the way up to where we were. Mm. It was just, like, you just, if I turn around, more rows were happening. Yeah. We got there an hour. You could have gone there an hour and been prime real estate. You did yeah. not need. The five hours, guys, like, buddy, fucking go get breakfast, dude. dude like, go you, shower, Why were you man. there at 7 shower. in the morning, bro? Like, what's wrong you know with you? you got dude? a duck? Hmm? Did he get a duck? I don't know. I, I really Maybe hope. Maybe that was the guy that was fucking uh, fighting <laughs> the girl. No, I, I, bro, I remember seeing that, and I was like, this guy's got some serious fucking problems. And it smelled like shit. Everyone in there didn't have fucking no deodorant. And just, like, imagine the grossest, most B.O. little pond of water, and it's, like, wet socks and shit. It's disgusting. It's just a terrible atmosphere, and I, I'll never do it again, but I'm, I'm glad we did it. It was fun. After that, anyways, Friday night comes around. Halloween party, night library, okay? UCF, it's got two main spots. Night library, which is, like, a club, and then you got bounce house, which is kind of like a club outdoor patio vibe both yeah. good venues like they have tvs for like sports games and yeah. shit but they also have a dj that's like a sports bar club vibe yeah. Cool. yeah yeah we go to night library grimy club i'm talking Dude. booth sections ray just a gritty dance what did floor. It, remind just, you of? it was like you know that when the air quality was super bad and you couldn't see like a huh. certain yes. amount because of canada like yes the fires it was like that except it wasn't the clouds that the dj puts out it was sweat like really? pure, pure sweat, grimy? gross, bro. We gross. were sweating. Damn. I couldn't see my Phineas, my Phineas, like this, this mouth right here. It's like red, it kind of faded. It was tough. It was tough. And you add the extra fade. I took it off at one point. I was like, I just can't do it, bro. I yeah. can't interact with people. I'm looking at the camera and <laughs> hitting the camera and shit. I, I felt like an idiot. I literally <laughs> felt like a fucking idiot. In this you looked club. like an idiot. I mean, like the, the nose isn't that much bigger. Come on, dude. <laughs> Come on. Boys okay. shaped and like Phineas. <laughs> Anyways, you don't make it out, but this was our Phineas and Ferb night. Oh, yeah. Tim was doofing smirts. Perry, yours yep. is sick. I'm not going to lie, Zaps. The Perry outfit looks fucking great. Thank you. So we get there. We show up. We got a section. So there's a DJ um, up top. Right beside the DJ is two smaller booths. And on the bottom was like bigger booths. We had quite the crowd because Tim and his boys came. Um, so we were on the bottom. Grimy night. Gritty night. I had one dude in a Spider-Man costume. Oh, I don't yeah. know how many. Pa I had to think he did 20. He, at one point, at he least filled 14. his pockets with Michelob Ultras. He would keep going back and forth from the bar. At one point, he had 12 on him. 12 Michelobs, just, just ripping no him. Way. Ripping yeah. him. Gave me three, ripping him. Rip, like, rip. He, he was so horny for pants beers. There are some people, and I, I think I got to make this PSA now. Guys, I will do a pants beer. I love a pants beer. If you buy me a drink, I'll rip a pants beer. I think at a certain point, if you're offering me six, I'm going to be like, yo, I got to do pants beers with other people here. Like, it's becoming like I can't hog pants beers do you know what i mean so please spidey i love you dude we got to share the pants because then i have other guys that are just they just got one right and they're like yeah. dude can we do one i just did four and my balls are like it's I'm literally burning like right a shotgun I feel like I got chlamydia. i'm like dude can we give a second but i feel bad because i just did four with spider-man you know what i mean i gotta do it with fucking lois lane or whoever's fucking waiting Peter pan there. like come on imagine like shot like asking you to take a shot with someone but it's just no a beard on your dude pants. it's like crazy like Wild. Yeah, another another week another funny reaction from the security guy oh dude you know tough guy just sitting there and then all of a sudden like he gives a take Yo, yeah, what the every fuck? time like really? every time well, yeah like dude they it's so casual it's basically like a kid coming up to shotgun like yo i've seen that bar it's like it's okay look oh yeah i'll film it i'll look okay but this guy's fired the fuck up and we're filming them and he just throws it down his pants and then another kid throws <laughs> it down his pants and, and it's then a two line. more kids throw it down, throw the it pants. down their and then everyone's getting fired up so this guy's like just watching it all and he's like what the fuck like what is going on and it actually turned to the point where i'm like with this spider-man kid i was like holy fuck he bought 12 gave me like four and himself like how much eight were the beers hmm? how much were they i don't know but he gave night library a god so much money pretty cool big shout out the owner mitch he got a vodka bottle and imprinted our logo yeah. on the side i don't know if you saw that story saw very super cool. sick um hospitality was great co2 cannons just a bunch of good shit it was fun it was a fun night 
Kind of a gritty night. Uh, we left a little early because we did have the early game day. Another noon game. We're really not lucking out this tour with some shitty time games. We got a noon next week, too. Next week's another noon game, but we had a noon game, so we left around I like I think 12. next week will be better, though, because we got the Pierre. hometown boys in, yeah. and like they're going to be firing. Yeah. Like, yeah. We well, could, I need you to be firing, dude, Ferb. I'll, I'll be firing, buddy. You promise, Ferb? Yeah, dude. I took a I'll, whole week off. Do you know how much energy I have right now? It's great. Great to hear. Yeah, like that, dude, be You better buzzing. be pumping when me Dave up. and Pierre comes, too, I'm going to be fucking in one. I'll just pull an all nighter Friday night. Fuck it. No, I, I don't like we that. don't sleep. I don't, no, I don't like that. We I don't, don't like that. sleep. Okay. I like it. Anyways, Here, we'll Ferb's fired up. He's feeling good right now. Um, but we leave night library. Shit gets weird. My shirt gets ripped off by Perry, and then I, we come Wait, home. Wait, I ripped it off? Yeah, I, I was about to, and I like. I think I barely got a rip. You're like, oh, yo, I got it. And then you came up here and like went down. I don't know. It was just, we were pure not, rage after. I the do bar. not remember that. It was pure rage. We were a little <laughs> banged up. We get home. End up going to bed. Evan no, and Tim. first, you guys walk in, and I hear you open the door. And you're like, Chanchi, Chanchi, Chanchi. And then you guys chip. both open my door. Chanchi. Oh, he's sleeping. Like, what yeah, the no fuck shit. do you think I was <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> maybe that was a bad play. It's like 1 a.m. We Zaps open is fucking buckled. Chip's yeah. like, oh, he's sleeping. Chip leaves. Zaps just walks to the fucking bathroom in his Perry costume. Buckled, hand up on the <laughs> wall, starts like fucking rethinking life. Yeah. Takes a Perry costume off, naked on the floor in the washroom, naked on the floor in the the beside the bed. I Came into just... the bed for a bit, was like <laughs> contemplating life, was like, fuck, like I need to go like make love to the earth again. Yeah, I went and back then, to the ground. I don't even know. Did you even fall asleep in bed? Like, no, I woke up in the bathroom. I was in a dog downward dog pose, like <laughs> yoga style it actually helps me a lot when i need to puke so i was sweating a lot i got naked and i was like though the floor is cold as fuck i need to lay here for a bit so i laid next to the bed and like my mind was like yo this is way better than like spinning so then it got warm on the ground so i'm like fuck i need to go to the bathroom and puke you warmed up the, the floor. floor yeah bro i'm sweating yeah. <laughs> And then I go to the bathroom. I'm like, yo, this floor is cold as fuck. Like, I'm going to lay down here. Yeah. And I fell asleep in, like, dog word, downward dog. I have what a video, fuck? actually. It's my, insane. What the fuck? This is a real true story. Yeah. Of course you'd fall asleep in downward dog after a Perry night. <laughs> no, dude. Like, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, but I actually have videos of me, like, back in high school. And I'd black out with my friends. they just, like, walk in and videotape me sleeping. I'm just, like, in downward dog in my bed. Like, wow. That's kind of it, gay. That's no, sus. it's not gay, bro. It helps <laughs> that's me. a little sus how you're, like... Your ass is facing up when you fall asleep. Like, yeah, but it's a yoga pose, like for peace. How often do you do you do yoga sober? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Not to. Yeah. Like, anyways, so we we end up going to bed around like let's say two to three. I don't know. We're gonna aim in that ballpark. Uh, we get woken up at seven a.m. because the game day's at noon. Evan and Tim come in, fucking storming into our room. I get. I do. They start smashing pots bro I, I i swear to god i thought it was gunshots i i'm so scared did I you not hear them no dude, dude i just the hear... fucking door opened like 10 times the morning and every time it opened it was like front door open i was cashed bro. i honestly so didn't then, wake up either at yeah, all so then, fucking in one. so then i fucking hear pots outside my door i thought it was gunshots so i i'm like what the fuck i throw the covers over me like no i'm way. like dude i swear to god i thought i was about to die and they come in with a pot and it fucking corona <laughs> i chug the corona we go to your they went to your room did you the same think thing the covers are gonna do if oh, it was I, a gun. More so Dang, just, block. I don't know. I was just like, I was scared. I was like, what the fuck is going on right now? I just got scared and like shocked. I was like startled. And then, then I remember they woke us up, took down the beer. We sleep for like a little bit longer. 8 a.m. comes around. We start getting ready. We head to the tailgates probably around, already get a breakfast around 9-ish. Get to the tailgates around, what, what was it? Like 10? 10-ish. 10-ish. 10 10-30. Until we find the frat like 10-45-ish. So we got to like a little bit, no. No, 10 o'clock, no, right? It, it was yeah, because it ends at 11. Because it ends at 11. This is fucked. This is the only school I've ever seen do this. Every hour before a game time at a UCF tailgate, no, one they hour. end... What? One hour before. Every, yes, one hour before every UCF tailgate, they end it. The cops come to this general field lots where just people are tented out. There's a frat one, a general one of just tents, just basic tailgate on grass. And they clear it out exactly one hour before to get people to go to the game and so they can clean up. That is the stupidest... The stupidest game day rule. I've, I've never seen that. No. And it sucks. It literally incentivizes people 
A, not even to go to the tailgate because then people just all go to the bars. You might as well just start at the fucking bar. Like, yeah. they go to the bars? Everyone after the game, everyone after that either goes to the game student section, which was really good, or you go to the or you go to the bars, main one being Bounce House. That's where people, the sports TVs are. That's where you would go. But it's just like an hour before is a, a terrible insane. amount of time well, because the stadium's yeah. right there. What am I doing for 55 minutes? Also, so, like, I know people that just tailgate throughout the whole game. Exactly. Like, what are we doing? Like, Why are you stopping? Why yeah. would you stop that? It's just terrible. Now the downtown strip There's is no packed culture. with people. It's like everyone's like going to the game. They're at these like little like restaurants. But I'm like, why did we stop? It was prime hour. It was prime at 11 and it just died off, obviously. That's going to lose some points. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. That for the athletics, tailgate, and a bit of the Greek life, like that's going to deduct a little bit. I'm going to be honest. It was a cool tailgate though. or In a sense, it's got like its own like frat circle area where each frat's got like a 10. And then a general one that's just in a big line, typical tailgating type scene. So was it? like a solid tailgate for what it was worth it was an early game so it wasn't filled it was, it was a little bit more as you'd expect probably on the chiller side like, which kind of made sense for like yeah. a lot of people went out on the friday night before so it seemed like a lot of people were coming a little later and like you could tell they were not banged up but they weren't going after it because they had a long day they were starting early like i'm just gonna sip on beers still fun not as much people kind of chill that made sense mm -hmm. anyways we go to the game super early and then at the game, I will say the student section, very good. They call so it the good. bounce house, the same as the bar that we were at Saturday, because everyone starts jumping at what's that song called, Zaps? Oh, 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 oh. oh. What's their oh, chant for oh, that? It's like UC, R Penn State. No, it's, no, it's UCF, UCF Knights. Yeah. yeah, so it's UCF Knights. Oh. Oh. And they're all jumping on these like metal... On these metal, uh, bro, and that shit moves. And it, dude, it jumped like you feel it. Like it it's called it's bounce really house because it's bouncing. It's literally bouncing, and it's like, loud. Like I'm gonna be honest, this student section, I was not expecting it to be good. Maybe there's a reason they do end the tailgates early. Like student section, for what it was worth, packed. packed. Welcome game, packed. Everyone in the main upper bowl or middle, like front bowl, standing up the entire goddamn time, jumping every jump. And for a game, they got absolute shit pumped by West Virginia. It was bumping. Zaps, yeah. could you tell me agree? Like, we left it, it half, but because it was great mainly vibes. because it was fucking hot. Good vibes of the game. Yeah, great vibes. I was actually into the game as shitty as it was. Like, yes. I was getting mad at the fucking ref and shit. Like, people, the energy was there. Like, people were getting mad with me and shit. I was calling the ref, like, some s stupid names I can't say on here. But, like, <laughs> you know, we were having a good time. Um, yeah, I, I was invested, man. That's what... It was a good, good it was honestly does. one of the better games like that we've been to, or at least one of the better student sections student that section. we've, that we've been at this tour. I could Hands say down. confidently it was, Hands I down. think you would have liked it too. Like a lot of people standing, jumping around. It was electricity. It was a good, the solid first student, student section. section. We couldn't get down to the front. Yes. If that makes sense. Yeah. So it was solid. The nice. game itself, they yeah. got the UCF. Doesn't seem like the Big 12 is working for them. They still have won against a Big 12 team. I get fucked over but on my bets. They've never beat a Big 12 team. They haven't won a no. Big 12 game yet. Sure. So it's not looking good right now for the first year in the Big 12. Game was, it was just scorching hot. Orlando weather, or Florida weather in general was just super fucking hot. What was hot. the score when you left? Uh, They were down by, it was close. I think they it were down closer. by, how much was it? I think they were down by 10. Uh, 10 or like 7, something yeah. around there. But we had... We had a UCF minus six and a half and the under. The over was fucking on Ruining. pace. And we just got we just got fucked in every way, shape, and form. We got so I don't know how UCF was favored six and a half. They got fucking pummeled. Anyways, after this, we go, we fuel up at B dubs. Then we make our way to our Saturday bar event at Bounce House, which is the other of the main two spots. Sports bar club. Cool outdoor patio. I don't really see the patio. The cool patio, vibe though. Yeah, great vibe. The the layout is really, really good. Yes. And the outdoor area is sick as hell. Like the back, it's like um it's a it's a really weird vibe that like not a weird vibe, but different vibe that night I see at other bars. Cause it was like, yeah, I can go in there after watch NFL, get yeah. a beer, sit down, but also there was like kind of a club yes. vibe with yes. the DJ. Like the music was loud. Loved it. They had lights, like kind of like the um the wall with like the fake grass and stuff, like good vibes and stuff, and then I don't know, like just after the game we went, it wasn't popping, but I heard at night it got pretty rowdy. Yeah, so it did suck. We it we went at the time where people left to go eat and, yeah, and I've rest never up. heard of that being a good time to go to a bar. I'm gonna Neither. be honest, I didn't either, but I was you We've know, I was told have never done that before. I was told it was gonna be fucking best move ever. Sick, we went, 
dead as fuck, but the like it was a sick layout. You know what I mean? Yeah. It kind of gives me like not the same as Pots from FSU, but like no, way. not no, really? not the same in the sense of like Pots is extremely better. Do not get me wrong. In the same sense of the vibe. Do you know what I mean? Like the booths, the elevated booths, the patio with the turf, the good music, EDM DJ, very Florida. It was, I yeah. felt like this is a Florida club, if that makes sense. The people that were in there, it was just, it made sense to me. Okay, I understand why this is a Florida spot. You know what, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, vibe in there. It was just so I goddamn like dead. It's just like the time is like everyone's Terrible. tired from like the morning. Even like, I mean, people are already tired in the morning. Yes. And then they've been partying for like All another day. eight more hours. Yeah. yeah. So like, even if that is your time morning. to go home and like refuel and rest. Yeah. yeah. And like, even when we did that in Iowa and we went to the bar right after the game, we went like, we even took some time off. We didn't go back to the bar till like, what was it? Six? Six. Yeah. No, six, seven. Yeah. And then like, it was like, it was still not even like popping. That's yeah, because people yeah. were taking like the time. Yeah, that's, that's exactly true. my thought. I was like, even if you don't go to the game and you have energy, you're not going to the fucking bar at three thirty. No. Yeah. Like, why would I start my night at three thirty on like a Saturday night Halloween vibe? No. No shot. Yeah. Also, it's like it's also Halloween. Like, you want to like go and like get dressed and shit. That. Yep. Yeah, not much thinking went into the acceptance yeah, I, on that. I, I, I planned that one poor, poorly, boys. No, it's well, not all on you. I, I like, we, yeah. We go I, was kinda, I was told, like, this is going to be, like, the smart play call, and it just wasn't. Hey, man. Not call, your fault. Even Tom Brady threw interceptions. It, I felt like fucking Russell Wilson throwing a pick on the fucking one-yard line when I had fucking Marshawn Lynch as a running back. That's That was kind of one of those things I felt like right well, there. I don't think yeah. you had Marshawn Lynch. I think... You, you had, like, a really shitty running back where yeah. Marshawn Lynch might have been injured. Yeah, that's true. And that was your only play call. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. But the <laughs> Greek life, so now, and this is where it gets weird because the school is definitely the worst, in my opinion, one of the worst Florida schools, even though Miami got a bad score. But, like, Miami had the Thanksgiving thing. I think UCF is potentially worse. So this is all you, buddy. Yeah, I know. No, I understand. that. Wait, this is just my score. This is your score. Yeah, that, that's kind of <laughs> fucked. How I, saw, I felt like I just solo raw dog this fucking weekend, which yeah. is fucking wild. Yeah, but maybe Zach can help you like put the numbers together. Yeah, but, we like, can talk. This is all yeah, I think we should talk. But um, the Greek no life. I don't want to actually. I don't want to put it on this. I've never put it in on any score. That's fine. I, I can just do that. Yeah. I can just be me. But it's fine. Yeah. So the Greek life. This is where it gets weird. We just did the tailgate with a frat. These frats. So UCF is a very bar oriented school where everyone either goes downtown or those two spots night library bounce house why 18 plus nightclubs so it's also even not if downtown like if you want to stay close to campus and shit yes so if it's 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 also like so they have two bars two big ones bounce house night library big greek life greek life is can they throw out their house yes you can but they don't throw often okay how is the how is the greek tailgates the greek tailgates was it was Okay, you gotta keep in mind it's a noon game, not many people there. How the houses? The sorority is really nice. There is a sorority, sorority house near the, on the campus. The frat houses are in the Greek ghetto, they call it, <laughs> which is this offshore, sketchy ass street, literally exactly what you'd think. Like apartment complex, four houses beside each other. Like, to put it in perspective, Sigma Pi, the frat we worked with, eight members lived in there frat what? complex yeah but they can throw in their backyard which fit about a few hundred people so it's like or what like almost a thousand throw? like 900 800 something like that do they Pardon? throw though they throw a few times a semester their big parties the aspen one and they have like another like rave one so a lot of rave edm guys in the frat I mean, they kind of very florida um but they don't throw often because a lot of their events are you know we're gonna go to bounce house we're gonna get boots at bounce house we're gonna do this it's very booth club oriented going to the bars that's mm. or the, the clubs i should say that's the vibe of the school you hang around your clique the guys in your frat the sorority groups that you guys hang out with and you guys just go out but they do throw not often so the greek life it's not huge here do you know what i'm saying it's not yeah. a big greek oriented school they got two main spots even the bar scene i wouldn't say is right, phenomenal yeah, numbers, let's go. Let's numbers go. wise for the greek life at this school it's tough uh, but you know, just having the Greek ghetto sororities that lived nice, but it doesn't seem Greek oriented. I'm going to give the Greek life here at UCF a 6.8. It's not tapping to the Holy sevens shit. for me. I think that's a fair, you know, a fair number right there. Uh, the bar scene, here's the thing. Balance house wasn't great because the time we went, I can tell that's a good spot. Night library. Yeah. That was a good time. It's a great club. They got two big spots that are the big competitors here with the downtown 20 minutes away. Ah, uh, this one's tough. I'm going to give it, it's definitely the 
best part of the school, I'm going to give it a 7-8. It's not going to be the 8s for me, mainly because it's just two spots. Uh, there's no like local bar or anything like that. It seems like two nightclubs, so I think they could. there could be more variety. I'm going to give it a 7-8. And the athletics... Student section was actually really good, so it impressed me there. Sure, their school's not great at football. Big First year in the Big Ten. The student section was bumping. A lot of people, homecoming weekend. Tailgate was a little slower, but I like the setup. I do hate, though, that one hour of just cutting it off. I'm going to tap in the athletics at a 7-4. So I don't know what this number is. You actually could probably just calculate it and maybe just show me because for Benias is curious. Yeah. Would you 6.8? 6.8, 7.8, 7.4. All right. Let me see. That is... Can I see? Can I see? <laughs> Ferb? Can I oh. see Ferb? Okay, show zaps. That makes sense. That checks yeah, out. Yeah, that checks that out. That checks out. Okay. Does that so, check out? That, yeah. che that, that checks out. That Just does. to put that in, like, that is... Where is it in? Could we get the realm of different schools so I can... Cincy. What was Cincy? <laughs> I'm just giving away the score, bro. No, no, okay. What else, what else seven, is near? Give me other schools in it. Three, bro. Yeah, give me another other schools. Cincy in it. was the lowest. It's the it's tied for the lowest score. That's fair. Yeah, that's I fair. actually think that checks out too because that checks out. I'm fucking that checks the fuck out. You agree with that? Yeah, yeah it's like okay. It yeah, makes I'd sense. say the only thing like that. It's like it's obviously better than Cincy because like location, but you can't really. That doesn't. I agree. We're not and judging it based on your climate. Fact. I yo that checked out. Okay, yeah. I'm fired up with that number. Yeah, All right, if, boys. If UCF was in Cincinnati, it'd be pretty similar. Yes, great way to put it, Perry. Where to hit the head of the na hammer there? Head head of the nail right there. Good shit, Perry. Uh, all right, that was our time here at UCF. Appreciate everyone. Big shout out Evan for help making everything happen. Um, let's go on, guys. We had some crazy. Wild IRL moments this weekend, okay? Notables, Nelk does their first IRL streaming prank. This one was wild. So it was basically Kyle going to houses with two pumpkins, one being like a pretty intricate design of Joe Biden, and then another one saying Biden 2024 or something yep. like that. Going to a house, knocking on the door, and basically being like, hey, I'm just in the neighborhood. I don't appreciate your pumpkins. Why do we got to make like Halloween political? And so they did this prank in the past. Yeah. Already. Okay. And they got some pretty funny reactions. Yes. I think they did it in like uh, California, but with Trump. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, think, I believe that was it. And I think there's two things that go into this. Obviously, one about like the streaming yep. and like doing it in IRL. And Kyle said it a lot during the stream. I was actually watching like that was Friday night. Mm -hmm. Right. I was watching it for a bit nice. while you guys were out and I was just like in bed. And you guys were, well, you said you were watching. I was too. watching a little bit, yeah. But uh, first of all, pretty funny stream. Nice. I've never really watched like an IRL stream I'm not stream a stream before. guy. No, but IRL streams are different. I don't know. It's like it has your attention because like you know something is about to come. You're just, but it's you're true. like waiting. Yeah. You're just waiting way too long for it to happen. Mm. Like you could just chop it up into a YouTube video and yep. that'd be like way more efficient. Way more of, yep. But I get why people watch it. Anyways, I think... Um, Two reasons why I think the street the prank didn't work. One obviously being how it's IRL and Kyle said it that he needs to like do like twenty to fucking thirty to get a good reaction. That I was just about and to say. And they only did two. Yeah. So you can't hope it's gonna be a good reaction. But what I was also thinking is they were expecting similar reactions as the Biden people. But I think Trump supporters we like are more chill. I think when like, it comes to that yeah. shit, Trump supporters don't care because Biden's literally a joke, bro. Yeah, I think they're more chill. I'm sure you would get still some like really fucked up like people that would be like, yeah, you know, like I know what you mean. I'm gonna fucking kill you for that. But I think they're more chill when it comes to like seeing Biden's name versus when Biden supporters see Trump's name, they fucking hate him like with a passion. Yeah, like people hate Trump with a fucking passion. They just think Biden's like a fucking doorknob. Yeah, like yeah. they feel bad for him versus like they fucking hate him. Yeah, yeah. It's like I don't give a fuck about one, but the other ones, I I actually fucking hate you. Yeah, yeah. I can see that too. And I was I made a note here, like, dude, a good pranking. You could go out for hours pranking. I be able, when Nelk was doing OG videos, they're out there all day, sometimes multiple days, to get a good seven minute video. So you're taking the best of hours of going, dude. You did two houses. Like, don't get me wrong. And the they did fans' houses. So like, the second, the mom kind of like knew, knew on the second one. Yeah. And on the first one, 
the mom was just like not she was just like get off my property get off my like i'm gonna like, get she didn't off even my look at the pumpkins yeah it was it's very like that's i respect them for doing it because you get to see like the behind the scenes like what would actually go into a prank which is cool don't get me like you never see that all you see is a finished product of the best so it's cool to see like preparing for it what we're about to do and then going and then getting out of there that is cool my thing is that's so hard to get done right in less than even 20 minutes to get that perfect reaction. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's almost like, not saying it's impossible, borderline like, good luck. Like yeah. you want to get a good one, but I still, still pretty sick they tried it. But yeah. I do think that, uh, I do think it's possible. I think the way they did it is like, kind or the what they did is is tough because mm -hmm. it's like, you have to go to a house and then you have to like find another house to go to. But Kyle said that like if they do another prank, they're gonna make sure to do it in the sense where like they can bang out a bunch mm. really quickly. So what I would think from like what they've done in the past would be like calling into places sick. Okay. Would be real one that you could just like bang out. You oh, just, that's like, so place easy. Place the camera down. Yeah. Sit on a couch and you could just call numbers all fucking day. Oh, you yeah. could also do a good one for IRL. Would be the pizza delivery one. Where like you yeah, I was thinking pizza, that like, butt too. ass naked or in like thongs or something. Yeah, and yeah. then like you wait, yo, you call the pizza. You can you can chop it up to the live stream. Oh, yo, pizza's here. Okay, yo, everyone get ready, get ready. And then you go and like open up the door and you're all like, fuck, I don't know, naked or got like that you know, socks over your cock. <laughs> That's good because I think it gives you the break where you get the reaction like instantly and then you go right back to the stream, call another place right now. Yes. So I think that, that would be cool too. I so saw, do you think they're going to do more? No, I, I do think they'll do more. I thought it was pretty entertaining. They had like 20,000 live They were num they're one number point. one on number Kick. Number one on Kick. Yeah, yeah, they got Zerka in it. Yep. Um, they like FaceTime Neon. They were doing they were doing it right. And I mean, like when when they do shit, they do it well. And mm. I think Steve wasn't in it. Like they'll they'll get Steve involved yeah. in it when he's, you know, when he can. But um, yeah, dude, there it was also pretty entertaining, like outside of the pranks. Because, like, there was the whole, like, there was a girl involved and, like, I don't know if they did it on purpose, but there's, like, this whole storyline going on of, like, Kyle stealing, like, Steiny's girl. Does that happen, like, a this. lot? What? Doesn't that happen a lot? Well, like, you've never seen it, you know? Like, yeah. You've never seen it in a, that's in a true. Milk, you don't like, know. YouTube yeah, video. Yeah, that's true. They talk about it, like, here and there, or they'll joke about it on a yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah. But they've never actually, you've never actually seen it like happen in real life. Yeah. Like Steiny literally pulled up in a Lambo with this chick. A and rented then, Lambo. Yeah, they they rented it for like the weekend in Miami. I don't think like he was trying to flex. No, I know. <laughs> I'll give Steiny the benefit of the doubt because I we hate on him so much, but I feel actually bad for him in this situation. Wait, we don't hate like we hate we don't hate we on don't him. We don't hate on him. Shit. We've talked shit on him. Well, we've just like disagreed with like some of the like some of the ways he goes about things, but like I don't we don't hate the guy. No, no, yeah. I, like I hate on him. Ah, okay, I got you, I got you. Yeah, yeah, just like another word for talking shit. Yeah. But um I felt bad because it's like this was one that's like not edited, so like he's clearly like not playing a character. Uh, and damn, the chat saw the chat was like oh. written like L Steiny like, damn. and he was oh. like he was begging the chat for like W's. Out no <laughs> way. He's like, yo, W Steiny for that. W Steiny. Oh, I just felt bad. It's like fuck, like, dude, like. Ugh. L to the girl because like you did come with Steiny and that then is you were, an L to the girl. You just offed him for for Kyle, obviously because he's fucking better looking, has more clout, has more money. Damn. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, I mean, it's Damn. true, bro. I know it is true. But like, fuck. Yeah, yeah L girl. It was, but it was fun. So no, moral of the story. It was yeah. funny <laughs> to see that like dynamic actually happen happen. live. Got it. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Because there was like, there was also different like breaks between the camera where like they go to Steiny and like he'd be like so down bad, just like contemplating life. And then it would just pan over to like Kyle and the girl talking. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'd go back into the car together and she was sitting in the middle and Kyle was sitting on one side and Steiny was sitting on the other side. And there's just like a massive gap between the girl and Steiny. Oh. And like Kyle and the girl are like, she's like, she's so close to him. And I don't think it's Kyle's fault at all. It's not. By That's no not. means was Kyle like trying to do it. He was probably, he was egging it on a little bit. Yeah. But Steiny was also digging himself a way bigger hole every oh. time he mentioned, yo, like, I brought you here, but you're going for like, Kyle, I see how it is, blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, girls do not want to hear that. No. Nah. What do you do? Girls don't want to hear that you're a fucking beta to him. What do you, yeah. what do you do in that case? If you're okay. So let's play the reverse card. If you're Steiny in this case, or you're just yourself, 
you you pull up to this Halloween party, you have a girl, and then she just offs you. Well, and just it wasn't goes a Halloween go. party. This was like the, she was the only girl there. So after they went to like the pregame, which had a bunch of other girls, and then yes. he was talking to some other yeah, girls, yeah. and he probably like. Probably upped his game a little bit better there. But when it was just one, yeah. it was like a 1v2 situation. Like That's he needed tough. to just like off it. Ah, uh, okay. But it was funny for the content. I got you. I got yeah. what you mean. But other than that, that wasn't even, that was one of the biggest things. But I wouldn't even say that was the biggest thing that happened this weekend in IRL streaming. Jack Doherty, that fucking little, oh, yeah. that little, I don't know, that fucking rat. That guy is a punchable face. If you want to yeah. talk about a guy with a punchable Holy face, that fuck. fucking guy. Holy just the way he pranks talks, and shit. Man. Oh just my like, God. Just a fucking little twerp. Uh, his security guard knocks the shit out of, I don't know, Karina Cop's friend. Viral Bro. clip on Twitter. You show me Saturday morning on the way to the tail. He's like, <laughs> Chip, you got to see this video. <laughs> we see the video. This fucking 260 pound unit, just a straight up unit. linebacker, O lineman, whatever you want to fucking call him. Guy went to jail for five years and just lifted weights. I don't know what Bro, the disagreement was, was really even about. I think they so were like. That security guard is actually the same security guard that uh, worked for DeBaby and punched the fuck out of a woman. Wait, got fired. Really? Yeah. Is that a, is that a fact? I saw that on Twitter, yeah. Damn. Fuck. So these guys get some issues. Yeah. So Corinna got mad at jack uh no jack got pissed at corinna or no sorry jack said talk shit about corinna on his live stream i can see that because i think she didn't want to be in his stream and i think he called her like fucking oh, an only fans fans or, yeah, or only something fans like that were. um and then corinna got a clip sent to her literally mid-party being like yo like jack just said this said this about you on his stream like someone clipped that up sent it live so she got that, and I guess her friend went up to him um, and started like, "Yo, don't talk like shit about her. Like, you know, she's not a fucking like whore and shit she's like that." She's making racks, type of thing. Yeah, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. He gets in his face a little bit, and then Jack's like the guy that's like wants he wants this shit for his content. He does. You he can, literally you wants down. beef. He knows he's like maybe he'll get one punch thrown on him if he's like lucky. Yeah. But the fucking 300 pound security guard Bro. stepping in after that and he's fine. Yeah. So like he was instigating it hella. And like these other guys obviously are probably drunk and shit. And like yeah. they're pressing a fucking kid. Um, and then when they see the big fucking black dude step in, they like did get a little scared, but they kept going with it. But and I was to probably a certain extent, talking. like they were just talking like it was never vulgar or aggressive nah. at any point, man. Like oh, I watched it and they were just, you can tell it was no one made chirping. a move going at someone. No one went forward. It was straight up. Just, just hand motions. You know what I mean? It wasn't even like vulgar. It wasn't like, like any of this, none of this, just like talking. Like, what and I doing, remember dude? the guy put like, his like hand up and in one fucking motion. I don't even, I'm still stunned by it. Slaps it down and then just full torque. Right. Dude, dude, the full noise, body, dude. The like, noise. He put his whole body into that punch. I saw. I did see the fucking side angle of it. It was like you see you that whole torque. fucking back torque. just, just drop him. The noise that hand made with that guy's fucking nose. I thought I, he was out. He was gonna be out cold. I thought he was gonna be dead. Get back up. How did this guy get back up from that? People are calling him. He's like, yo, you need to join Misfits. He card, does, bro. Like, yeah. How did he get up from that? Straight up. That was impressive as fuck. Bro, that was insane. That's the hardest I've ever seen. Dude, Probably he, on, he's got to be on coke, right? Dude, he has to be in the fucking hospital right now getting facial reconstruct. There's no way that guy's like, doesn't have a broken nose, somehow a broken fucking jaw, facial bone. Zero like, chance. Cheekbones got to be broken. Is it not? Like, I'd be stunned. I would be stunned if nothing was broken. Bro, but that guy, that's straight uh, up assault. Knows. That's straight up assault. Yeah, straight 100%. Up. That yeah. was so unnecessary. No, that's probably like, you could probably be charged for that. The guy was he's a lawyer too. Be charged, yeah. yeah. He's and the guy was a lawyer. Be charged. That's insane. Yeah, dude, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of got like uncomfortable watching it more than five times. Dude, I hate watching like people get sucker punched. Like See, dude, I dude, love it. So I watched it probably like a hundred times on Saturday. <laughs> it's right? so funny, dude. We took a break. That shit so is go, hilarious. We went and filmed the tailgate. Then we're at B Dubs, and then Zaps is like, "Yo, should we watch it again?" <laughs> we like, pull it up <laughs> while we're eating the wings. We're like, "Oh, yeah." We showed that. We showed Tim's voice too, and like everyone had a new reaction. Like, "Oh my god!" Dude, it was just like. <laughs> I kind of want to watch. I'm not going to watch it again. Like I'll probably watch it after the podcast. But I might like, pull it up. Real Jack, quick. We, yeah, pull it no. up. Just this sick fucking. Dude, I fucking yeah, it's not it. It's just uh, it's just uh, I don't know how the guy got up, but 
Fucking don't hurt anybody. You're fucking. You're ten ply. You're literally a twig. I fucking hate that kid. He's a fucking loser. Literally, Jack Doherty's a fucking loser. And I'm saying that with a Phineas and Ferb head on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just saw it. Did you get it? Oh, oh yeah. Man, God, yeah dude, I don't even want to watch funny, it. funny, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. I heard it. I fucking heard it, dude. Okay, anyways, we're going to get off that. Doherty, suck my schlong. Uh, guys, another big news in the fighting scene. Tyson Fury beats Francis Ngannou uh, by decision. I mean... This is huge, though. At third round, Naganu drops Tyson Fury. Huge noise. Some even saying controversial win, but huge for the cross, you know, cross platform boxing MMA. I mean, this seems like, if anything, the real winners out of this. Mm -hmm, here's what I'm thinking here. Uh, you gotta love it. Fury's just he's getting a bag. Naganu gets a bag. Good on him. I respect it. Jake Paul's got to be loving this because it's like, dude, I've been a boxer fighting these MMA guys. This MMA guy just dropped this fucking. One of the best boxers of all time. Yeah. Like, you could say one of the yeah, best heavyweight boxers of all time. Split decision, controversial. And it slipped, but it, and, and it was so close that it's like, dude, this is this is real. You know what I mean? This crossover stuff is entertainment. Not, a, not just like a random boxer, like the best, like the best, best heavyweight, heavyweight ever. Heavyweight the of all best time. heavyweight. I'm pretty sure he'll go down. Yeah, he'll go down as the best heavyweight boxer of all time, and he won a controversial split decision over. You know, keep in mind one of the best MMA fighters of all time, but yeah, still, but like it's... that's not his sport. No. So it's crazy to see and it go down like that. That's always been like that. a big argument, Huge. too, about crossing over and shit like that. Like, and to say, like, one can't do it, one can't do it, I mean... Dude, he also took a crazy elbow, bro. Fury fucking threw a punch. I don't... Kind of looked like he literally threw an elbow. But I guess, like, when you miss a punch, you follow through. The uh, elbow came around. Oh, my... Dummied fucking Naganu in the head. Damn. Did he get knocked out? No, he knocked just down? ate it. Fucking freaks those guys. It, bro. Yeah, he can he can take some hits. Bro. Fucking freaks, man. Yeah, but no, but this is honestly huge for like MMA guys that like you know aren't getting paid well. If you're not like a big time yeah. guy in you know in the UFC, man, you can get a bag if you you know chirp the right guy in the boxing scene that has some clout, dude. They'll take it. You know what I mean? Because I hey, think this is bad. Sorry to cut you off. No, no, you're good. Continue. I'll, no, I'll no, you keep going. No, go ahead. Wait, why do you think hey, it's bad? what? No, no. Why do you think it's bad? No, no, no. no I'm working. Someone no, just working fucking go. You Holy just go, shit. I think this is bad for boxing. Like, I think this shows that anyone could be a boxer. Um? In, like, very little time. Like, I don't... I feel like... Like, nobody would be able to go from, like... No way it's Football bad. to, like, basketball at this level. That's true. Like, no one be able to take on LeBron and, like, even give him a fucking close matchup. Oh, you're saying... Like, I'm saying, like, boxing... Like, maybe it's easy to fucking be a boxer. No, I think I don't think it's easy. I think you if you go against the right people, like boxing is based on your opponent. They go against the elite opponent, they're gonna get fucked. Sure, but like also Francis is a great fucking striker. I was he's an amazing say. fighter in general. He can take hits. He's one of the best MMA fighters. Like respectfully, he should be able to compete against the loaf of bread. I agree. Just Tyson because Fury. he's naturally a fighter. He's loaf a combat, bro, he's a combat Tyson sports Fier fighter. Tyson Fury is the legit definition of like da dad bod. Yeah, Bag of milk. Bag of milk. He's Bag of like, milk. It doesn't matter though. No, I know, but I'm saying fucking dummy also, also, it's good for the sport because it's gaining so many fans that never would have even crossed their mind about boxing. Because I, I can tell you what, before like all this YouTuber stuff, Never even watch boxing once. I think I watched and McGregor. I never had, yeah, and I never McGregor had a, Pac, an yeah. urge to watch boxing. Same, but now Same I fucking love it, dude. I actually look forward to these matches. Yeah, literally, million like that. That's going to say a lot of. That's saying a lot just because, like, imagine the guys younger, like younger than us, kids growing up in like elementary school, high school. They want to be a boxer. They do not even want to be a boxer. Like they're glued to YouTube and shit. They're all like they're tuning the fuck in. Yeah, they're buying all these zone packs, all these pay per view fights. They're horny as fuck. They probably got a prime bottle, three of them for every fucking fight. Like you, you drink, you love prime. I love prime. I don't collect the bottles. So. Speaking of prime, Logan and KSI went to Toronto. This they weekend, did do and that. Logan went to the Raptors game, and he held up on his phone when he was on the jumbotron. Naganu was was robbed. Really? Yeah. Damn. Well, yeah. I think him. And, that's what I was gonna say. I feel like him and Jake would be the two guys that are that are a, also that, gonna yeah. like force that narrative because to show like no the mma like if it's fringe could have gone either way you gotta hammer that no the mma guy won because that just you know helps out their case being like mma guys can be better. also said that he fucking he said if i didn't like knock him out i knew i was gonna lose the fight just because of like proper how the sport works mm. like you can't give him that you can't give fury an l unless it's like a big time l it's just bad for business 
Oh, you he were saying it was always going to go to Fury if it wasn't a knockout for Naganu's side. Unless he, yeah, unless he didn't absolutely destroy him, it was going to go to Fury. And he knew that. I think, every, yeah, I think it's, I and think it's just known. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, that makes I sense. I feel like it's known now in boxing. It's like, yeah, yeah I'm, that's going to be changing up my betting style a little bit. Anyone like, goes against a boxer, you take them by fucking decision. Change, I fucking love that call, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's a good fucking call. Good bet. Holy fuck. I think we just... It's a good fucking call right there. All right, guys. Any Anything else from that? No. Nope. Boys, good? Mm-hmm. Guys, yeah. time to go to fan questions right here, boys. Um, cool. Got a couple this week, so really stoked about that. If you guys are watching, we are over 3.69K subscribers on the YouTube Squad Bunch Come Podcast. On. Keep them coming cool. in, guys. Hit that subscribe um, button. Hit yeah. that subscribe button if you guys are new. Welcome to the program. <laughs> Finny is here. Got Ferb on my right. And then deep in the corner, we got Perry. Uh, question from if you want any of your first of all if you want any questions answered comment on the YouTube video that's where I take all the comments and all the comments of questions and we answer them for you live on the podcast question for at Sazal6339 are you open to revisiting schools for another season that didn't get a fair break or you think you went to a bad weekend for example UMish I don't know why UMish was on there that was a fine weekend MSU FSU Miami I don't know why those ones are there either maybe Miami not Miami. FSU or Miami. maybe doing or doing maybe a top 10 to 13 and re-ranking those schools for a champion. So, personally... I have some thoughts on this. Oh, you, you, Let's hear it. Okay, I, just hear follow, it. I just follow the squad, so... Let's well, hear it. You could give your insight as well. Yeah, I'll give it after you. So, I think there's, I think there's not much like movement in terms of the top 10 or even just number one. I think it's still like pretty head and shoulders, head and shoulders that Bama is like number one. I think FSU is a really solid number two. And I, I, I really, I really don't think those would move at all. And I, I think agree. like, I think those are head and heels top two. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Like LSU was great, but it like didn't have the Greek life there. I agree. To make it like, FSU Bama. Yeah. It's right. That's that's correct. That's the right statement. Um, so I think those two are like locked in at one, two. The only way I could see us going back to schools would be like for a specific reason. So for Miami, I think it would be fucking sick. I don't know if this would be even possible to do, but if we could reach out to like Alex Earl's management and then we do like a Miami weekend with Alex Earl. And that could be like a new, you know? Yup. That could be like be a sick. new way of us visiting the school um but we're is, not is, is if we're with alex earl yeah and like like we see it through her big lens. ask okay eh? i don't think that's a massive ask like we could fucking promote her like hot mess podcast or whatever and she could just literally do what she does every weekend it's just fair. with us filming it alex earl let us know if you need promo for hot mess we're here to help and then other than that i only think we'll go back to the other schools if there's like a really big game going huge on. game like, yeah uh, like a oh. Michigan, Ohio State. Like yeah. Alabama, and, and, Auburn would be cool. Yeah. I would do an Alabama, Auburn just yeah, so I could like, chirp the shit out of Auburn kids. <laughs> like chirp the shit oh, yeah. out of... I would love to do that. It needs to be a closer game though too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just the, Auburn needs to get good again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But yeah, I don't think other than that, like there's not really a reason to go back. Yeah, no. there's not. There, there isn't. isn't. There really isn't. A It'd lot be, of like, schools. Similar content. Yeah. Thing. A lot of schools are very similar in the basic foundations of that's true kind of like how it goes about you know there's a bar there's a frat that people go to there's a a, a spot where everyone goes there's a spot to eat where everyone goes in pre games like it's like it's like all the same stuff it's just different layouts different yeah so like at the end of the day going back we wouldn't sim- we wouldn't shoot like similar content yeah it would have to It'd be, be different too similar content. it'd yeah. have to be different content mm-hmm. and that's why like a Miami with Alex Earl or whatever or like Cavender twins, that would make us like give us a reason to come back. Right. So there fair. needs to be a reason for us to come back. Great answer. Great answer right there. Question from at Tyler V eight zero seven zero. If you were one inch inside your mom and your dad was one inch inside of you and you had to move forward or backwards to get out, what are you doing? Much love from Toronto, by the way. Big are shut you up six. Yeah, it's me? both like they're the deep. Bro, what out. the? Wait, what the, the fuck? The deep's already done on both. Like that's disgusting. You gotta pick one though. That's disgusting. Bro. Go ahead, man. You first. Going. The deed's already done. I'm gonna have to go forward. I'm also going forward. I'm gonna have to go forward. It's this is fucking gross, but I'm gonna have to go forward just because I don't want it in my ass. But if you if you said like, would you rather fuck your mom or have your dad fuck you? I'd rather have my dad fuck me because I would never fuck my like mom. That's disgusting. That's, yeah, that's yeah. Fair. But since it was like 
It's already, already in. Already one inch deep. Like I'd rather not have <laughs> like more inches in my back. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't know how wild this question was when I just copy and pasted it from yeah, the YouTube. Dude, I, yeah. was, <laughs> I was like, "Holy what the actual like, fuck was this question? Holy fuck, Tyler, are you sick?" Why did I have to answer that? <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, we're gonna. I mean, move I, on I, I wouldn't do either. I don't even want to answer this. Question from at Cameron. <laughs> you literally were agreeing the whole time. You're nope. Like, yep. Sounds about right. <laughs> question from at Cameron McCord nine three six one. What do you think would make Canadian unis better? Athletics, bar life, or Greek life? Easy answer. The fucking athletics. Like, there's, like, to that, me... Athletics brings everything up. Athletic, dude, the game days, it's just everything about that. You want to put... Yeah, give me an Alabama... There's not even... There's nothing near a game day in the States to anything. Anything that Canada has for any football game. So you take U.S. college football, put it in Canada, then we can talk. And I truly think that I would think, be... Dude, low-key, bro, I would... I would I know what you're going to say. Bar life in Canada might be better than 80% of American colleges. And I am Where not, it's warm, I disagree with that. What? If it, I any said 80%. Of the okay, okay, that's fair. That's it's fair. better than here. 100, dude, Laurier yeah, had that's multiple true. bars Yo, all that's on true. one strip. Clubs. They had regular bars. Yo! Clubs. Western has one street of just Incredible. Clubs just bars. And bars. And clubs. Queens has the same shit. Guelph has that dude. Guelph strip Loki. <laughs> like, are we sleeping on Canadian school no, bar no. life? Bar life in Canada is valid. Is valid. Better than I might say 90% of American schools. Yeah, but oh yeah, chance you might have a fucking move to take right there. But every big school, like Guelph, Laurier, Western, Queens. Toronto yeah too, but we're also taking downtown. here's my thing with that is we're taking the creme of the crop of Canadian colleges that's is that's the like us saying what do you like, mean that's like the only ones well no there are fucking colleges in like Nova Scotia Halifax like we just don't fucking they're not known like you're taking the best you're taking the you just take the top five in all of the country if we take the top five like Fred's shits on all of those shits on it yeah, I guess, but yeah, like, that's not fair, dude. bro. We don't have like sixty thousand kids. That well, no. Now school. I'm saying, that, yeah. Now then it gets there. You, know, you see the difference. Tough world. Well, that's no, just but how I'm it is. Saying, like the Boo. fact that we can keep up with some of the like top schools is like pretty sick. Like that's true. And it's the yeah. reason being though is because like the drinking age in Canada 19. is nineteen. So yeah. that's everyone, true. Everyone goes to the bars the first year. So you need to have a good bar life because like and everyone's you don't going. Don't need a Greek life. That's and that's true. why there's not. That's why some of the schools in, you know, in Canada that are good don't even have Greek life because you literally, literally don't need to be. There's mm -hmm. no point. And yeah, that's a great, wow. Uh, Cameron, thank you for the question. The answer there is athletics 100%. Thanks, Cam. May, all right, boys, debate question time. Okay. I know you guys have some answers prepped and ready, so I'll let you boys take out the phones. All right, fellas, who would be, just remember, if you guys want any of your questions answered, make sure, okay, subscribe, like, comment on the Squad Brunch Podcast. Comment down below any questions you guys want us to answer. And if you want a debate question of something, let us know. Comment, fire away. Here's my questions for the boys. Who would the best fictional or non-fictional character be a plus one to a wedding and why? All right, I'll start it off here. Yep. Michaela Baines from Transformers, Megan Fox. Reason one, she's hot. Reason two, she's badass. Yo, I don't think there's anything else to say. It's just too oh. fucking... Why are you giving me the bird? No, I just felt right. <laughs> okay, yeah. What about you, Chanch? I didn't choose a character. <laughs> Tell me you just picked a fucking girl. I did. You pick Alex Earl or something? Yeah. <laughs> You're such a loser, bro. I have a You're good reason. such a dork. Dude. I have a good reason, though. Okay, let's hear it. Holy like, fuck. I was off the, I'm, I'm still off the Alex Earl train, but this was a, like a really good... Just I remember, she really, gives really good head. I have a really good reason for this one. Off the Alex Earl train, as you mentioned, is the only reason that we'd go back go to back any, to Miami and any, fucking, any school, any, <laughs> any fictional or non-fictional <laughs> character. I'm going to take Alex Earl. <laughs> Dude, Why? I'm on the Alex Earl train. Listen, first of all, obviously needs to be a girl because the plus one like can't be a guy because that's gay. Well, no <laughs> shit. I never questioned that yet. I just wrote his What's name why, in. Why on would the you test start off like that? Because I thought, like, we're not like, going dude, that's like you writing your you... name on the test and expecting to get a point. <laughs> yeah, that, like, bro, why would you what, say what are we that? doing? Oh, my God. I'm just saying. I have more points. Okay. All right, all right, Wait, that was a She's point. around the same age. Okay. So it's not like weird walking in with her. Um, I don't what? think she's. 
What? Pervious no bro, pussy. Bro, <laughs> listen to what you just said. She's around my age, I have so it wouldn't more be weird. Points. We're all right, fucking okay. building. Okay, dude. okay, okay, okay. Right, right. Building a, a fucking foundation. Relax. Yeah. Holy shit! You can't just throw bricks up with no fuck fucking off, Phineas. No foundation. Yeah. Have okay. one with you. You need some fucking drywall and shit. <laughs> I don't think she's way out of my league. So like, I don't think people would be looking at us and be like, "How does this like?" How's this happening? You yeah. know, like, cause when like, imagine like a 40 year old man, like pulls up with like a fucking 20 year old, like plus one to, weird to a wedding. That's like, weird. You look at them. You're like, that's weird. That's Say weird. your daughter. See, like, a, a fucking super ugly guy pull up with a smoke. You're like, how did that happen? How's he like, pulling that? He's paying for that. Um, so I mean, just, I think I can handle it for the, the look standpoint. She'll dress well. You yep. don't want someone that's going to like pull up to the wedding, like not knowing how to dress, you know, ugly dress or like not the right outfit, not, you know, matching. Maybe I think she'll play the part really well. I think she's got that going for her. She seems fun and outgoing, which is a must at a wedding. Yes. And, you know, if you don't know many people there, it's like you need to be, you know, outgoing and yeah, have you fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you have like you bring a girl that's like shy. Yeah, it's like, true. You're gonna be just sitting at the table all night, like that's, that's true. Yeah, you can't right? be a loser. That's true. You can't be a loser. Exactly. You cannot be a loser. The only thing I would like kind of be worried about is like she gets a little like too like hammered and just like goes on like her fucking Miami. I can see that. And like makes an absolute fool of my like herself and me, and then like we just like end up on a fucking like podcast episode. Of her, like, talking about the night she ruined a fucking plus wedding. one at a wedding. Yeah, or TMZ. But other than that, I think we'd be a great, she'd be a great plus one at a wedding. Nice. Good answers. All right, boys. What Halloween costume for a guy would get them the least amount of girls and why? Okay. Probably a Phineas fucking costume now. I'm thinking Probably no. Not, buddy. I got this one Pull here. your bird. <laughs> There's no way you're getting vagina. At a bar, if you're wearing a Jeffrey Dahmer costume. Fact. No, dude. So That's just fucking... That. No, bro. No, no way. No way. Girls love you dr- shit. No way, bro. Dressing Girls up as a... Girls love crime I get, shit, bro. No, bro. It's not even crime, bro. You're dressing up as a cannibal gay dude that raped and ate people. Or you're dressing up as like with a blood on you and character. shit. Change you, you would be the guy to be defending Jeffrey Dahmer. I would not He's not, not a movie character, bro. That was based on real events. Okay. You didn't know that? No, I knew it. But like the girls, Wait. I don't think look at it the same. I think girls look at it and be like, oh my God. All right, comment down below. It kind of looks hot in that. Like some gray, some fucking 50 shades of gray shit. Like girls no. look at that like, oh, that's sexy. Not like he's physically abusing her. I would have to disagree with that. Oh, Chip, I give me. I see what chance you're saying now. <laughs> right? Nah, dude. Like they no, like. There probably are some fucking weird chicks out there, dude, that are like into that shit. It's Halloween. It's like kind of like I guess fucking to some people kinky. Maybe yeah. I don't fucking no know. No way. I'm not. Listen, I'm not into. Like I'm not saying I don't think it is. Like if I was a chick, I last thing that's getting me flooded is a fucking Jeffrey. A Dahmer serial Washington. killer. I know. I get it. I would. I would be drier than like, Sahara Desert. Just be. <laughs> just be a prisoner. I would be like, so dry. Just be a prisoner. I would just be a. Get a dick. That's how fucking unattracted I would be to that if I was a chick. Well, if you what? got a dick, you'd be more of a target to Jeffrey Dahmer. Okay, correct. I would just Sahara Desert. What I'm saying is <laughs> there. I can see what he's saying. Well, like some girls that would be oddly like, yeah, I want to. Bo- I want to hook up with this guy because like, I guess just the vibe. But it is weird. As a dude, I don't think that's a look. If I see a guy dressed up as a serial killer, I just think like, you're weird. You're weird. Yeah. You're definitely weird. That's true. I think that's just because we're guys. I think it's still weird, bro. Like, if there okay. was a girl... Follow if you think that. If, it's, if you're a girl and you would hook up with a Jeffrey Dahmer costume guy, let us know. Red okay, flag. Change, what do you got? I got... I think you would get absolutely no puss if you dressed up like a girl. If a guy dressed up as a girl... I don't know. Sometimes they like that like shit. It, no, man. Yeah. Wait, what like, guy dresses up as a girl for Halloween? Yeah, I haven't exactly. seen any of that. No guy does that. I think, like, I see mean? some, like, that's just, like, nowadays, like, I saw that growing up, like, some kids in, like, elementary school would do it. They'd just, like, shove, like, balloons in their mom's bra and shit and, like, wear that. But, like, now it's, like, that's an actual thing people do and society has made us oh, feel yeah. like it's okay. Exactly. So, like, so imagine if a guy, like, dressed it. up as a girl, like, he would, like, 
instantly no girl would be attracted to him. That's so true. That's so true. Like you're a fucking beta. Dude. Yeah, like you're, you're absolutely you're, lost. You might be trans. Yeah, you might be trans. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like I like that answer. Like, there's no way. It's like it's not funny. Like people like, are laughing yeah. at you, not with you. Like it's not a funny costume. Like these are funny costumes. This is funny. But like. If you dress up as a girl, like it's just not funny. Yeah. Like yeah. someone might, what, might question hot. if you even have a penis. Like yeah. actually, there's yeah. two ways to get girls on Halloween: look hot or look funny. Funny, be funny. I've heard is like the fucking shit. Yeah, um, I, know, I definitely can't be hot. So yeah, great one. I I I feel you, like Perry. Yeah. Um. All right, guys. Next question here: What's the biggest red flag Halloween costume for a girl, and why? I said here. Um. I had two. Because one I have never seen. Sure. But from one I haven't seen, I would say Taylor Swift. If they're Taylor Swift for Halloween, because yeah. they're like they're Swifty, number one. Red flag. Red flag off the bat. Like Fuck. I'm not listening to this music with you every time I get in the car type shit. Not going to the concert type shit. You know what, what I mean? Really? Like Yeah, fuck that. Second off, <laughs> I did bunnies. Because like if she's dressing up as a bunny, she's probably looking for some dick that night <laughs> and she would take it from any dude at the bar why is it that bunnies get that rep of bro you just being a slut because like, what makes the bunny bro like, you just you that? literally just draw a triangle on your nose a little whisker oh my god i'm a cat let me wear like half an outfit like bro it's not an excuse to wear a bra and a thong like just what would what a Halloween costume on? would be a valid to wear a bra and a thong victoria's secret model smart because that's the actual outfit yeah. right or if you want to be a slut, just be like, I'm a slut for Halloween. So true, dude. Made sense. Did you enjoy it about you? So I went with uh, the recent trend that's going on on TikTok, and it's the ghost with the googly eyes on the tits. Oh, my God. That I a, saw I that. I have seen that. That's Show a, him right now. <laughs> Show him right that's now. That's an automatic red flag because Whoa. she's either a porn star or an OnlyFans chick. And or like, has huge. And has no father. None. Show zaps the video right. I, you've never seen this? Fatherless activities. Dude, right here. show the video. <laughs> no shot. <laughs> Wait, let me see one more time. Let me get a this little. It's a little like foggy for some reason. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, if this is literally. Wait, change. Do you have a good one? I'm trying to find one. Wait, this one doesn't show it. What the fuck? I think TikTok's starting to take him down. All right, yeah, that is the biggest red flag. 100p. So fucked. <laughs> I mean, easily the most so fucked up thing. If we I've can't ever show it on TikTok, Dude, basically what it is, she's just like they're going and we circles, saw. We, I've seen one. So it's basically, just, what it is, it's a white sheet as a ghost, yeah. but it's cut out around her titties with googly eyes on the nipples. Yeah. Insane. And then they start jumping around, so their fucking tits are wagging everywhere. Oh, it's their just, googly eyes attached. To that them. is absolutely. If you actually went out like that, you're you are a fucking whore. I love that though. <laughs> I do. No I love chance. that. <laughs> I don't know, dude. That's just Dude, you don't have a No, I'm definitely not taking her home, but I'd love to see that at the bar. Oh, it'd be funny as hell. <laughs> so funny. But like red flags have been absolutely Oh, and definitely all not over touching that girl with a ten foot pole. No. Fuck. She that, has every disease possible. Uh, great answer. Um What's your guy's drunk characteristic? So what I mean by that is something you do no matter what when you're drunk. Zaps will start with you. Okay. Um I think just Coming back to my earlier statement um, of how Friday night went, uh, I, I like to get naked. <laughs> so, you know, like I think like one of my characteristics is like I'll just get home and whether I have to poop, whether I have to pee or just like just get in the bathroom, I take all my clothes off. I just feel free. I don't know. But I don't know what it's about. Like I just love it. I go to bed naked almost every night I drink. Like I'll go to bed naked. I don't know why just feel fresh i feel clean like it's like like yo I, I i if i like i'm fuck like i'm just naked all the time when i'm drunk i don't know <laughs> you'll, dude, you, you'll get naked before you but. look so cool right now dude i don't know <laughs> what it is about your fucking outfit with the fairy outfit and then the shades and then like you're such in a chill position yeah. man me dude you know like <laughs> i just get naked. i just get butt fuck naked dude I like do. you just look like the biggest <laughs> <I've ever seen. laughs> <laughs> Great answer, Chantra. Oh, you looks fed. So. Um, you guys, you guys, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, you. Your guys, bro. Too, bro. <laughs> you literally look like an off-brand Little Caesars guy. I look like an took idiot. heroin for you? four years. No, you look good. You look good. Um, I'm a big uh, FaceTimer. 
you are <laughs> oh my god every time you're hammered bro every time yeah i usually have like the one person i i call like there's always someone that i like i'll call but i mean if they don't answer then i usually go through like a list <laughs> and like usually none of the other ones answer either but uh so we hope the first one answers um we're really hoping about that first one eh? yeah but i'll send off as many as necessary holy fuck how many how like record yeah uh, Come on, Furby. Like to one, like different people. I will say to one. What's the most you sent? Just one. Oh, I don't really. F no, I wouldn't. F I don't like call back like multiple times. Oh, okay. I'm not that guy. Oh, okay. I'll just like go through the contact list. Ah. Uh, yeah. uh, just know if you've been called, ladies, there's more than one of you. No, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. There's one. I'm saying there's one, and then I'll just go through contacts if the one doesn't answer. Ah, uh, I got it. Okay. Okay. Boys, next question here. There's usually one, but sometimes there's none. <laughs> I, I feel that so much. <laughs> yeah, you're naked in the bed. Right? Yeah, do I go to bed naked by myself every night I'm drunk? Yeah. What are what are the worst types of people and why? So, for example, some people hate people who drive slow in the fast lane. What, and you could list more if you have more. What are the, Who are the worst types of people and why? Zaps, we'll start with you. Okay, I, I did people who can't read a room. Or take a hint. Can you give me an example? Yeah. For example, I'll just bring up an example from East Carolina. Okay. A girl try when we went to that after party, right? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, a girl. I was pretty drunk. Started came up to me and tapped <laughs> me on the shoulder. Sure. And I'm not a mean guy, but let's just say the situation. She wasn't the most. I wasn't the most attracted to this. She's woman. ugly as fuck. She was ugly as fuck. <laughs> and basically, like, we, she's tr she, like, she tried to talk to me as shit, like, like talking to me all of these random like, questions. What the fuck are you doing, you peasant? Yeah. And I was just like, like, not that because she was ugly, but like, well, because she was ugly. And, <laughs> and she couldn't, bro, and she couldn't hold a conversation, bro. So I was like, like, she could, she just kept talking about new shit. And I, like, every combo, I would just go, like, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Like this. And she just, she talked to me the whole time we were at the after party. So then I go, literally this, right? I go, I try to get out of the combo. I'm staying next to Change World. I'm like, yeah, I actually have to go to the bathroom. You know where it is? And then she grabs my hand, bro. And it's like, yeah, I can bring you to the bathroom. You want to go to the bathroom? And I'm like, I literally like, I was like, yeah, yeah, I got to go. And so I like started walking out and then you were in the kitchen buckled. So I just turned my camera on. I'm like, yeah, yeah I got to film. <laughs> and I was filming nothing. It was just literally you guys just standing there. But like shit like that, it's like if you can't read a person's vibe, like, like if I if someone doesn't fuck with me, it's like all right, now on to the next, you know? Yeah. And like, so I feel like some people have that with like just social situations. Yeah. Like, just get a clue. Like, some sometimes people are just so rude without even knowing it. Like, just literally have a sense of like. He was rude talk, trying to. Risk no, him. I'm not saying just that point, but like for example, Yo, like. It's Perry the douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. No, dude, you know what I mean, bro. Oh, shit. Like, Perry the douchebag. <laughs> no, Phineas like. Phineas and Ferb are gonna kill them all. Okay, I keep going. Perry, no, no, no. stop being a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. Get a life. Holy, Holy fuck. Shit. Anyway, but yeah, like, people can't read, like, certain situations of, like, I know what you mean. Yo, like, this guy's mad. Maybe not. Like, let him calm down and shit, not chirp him some more. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I get it. All different social situations where you just can't read like a vibe of someone like, or like, I don't know. Fuck them, bro. You guys got the Dior shades on too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Dude, he looks like such a D-bag. The oh, clips of Sabs are hilarious, dude. Oh, all right, Chandra, what about you? Okay, I got, you said I could give multiple, so. Uh, you probably I have like 49. Sure to give multiple. Oh, yeah, I, I knew you would. I fucking, I have a lot of pet peeves, and I feel like. I, oh, yeah. I might be the problem a little bit. Yeah. I think. Yep. Um, But they're my pet peeves. I can't help how I feel, right? 2023. <laughs> what are you saying? I identify as a pet peeve. <laughs> but he said pet peeve. Um, <laughs> okay, so 
One, people that start eating their food before everyone gets their food. Oh, I fucking... I think it's just, like, so disrespectful <laughs> to be just munching down when, like, everyone's clearly hungry. And, like, you're sitting in front of the one guy that doesn't have his food yet. Oh, yeah. I hate and that. And you just start mucking. You're, eat, you're still talking to him, having a conversation. <laughs> just at me. And he's just, like, watching you eat. It's just, just at like, me. so rude. Go ahead and at me for that one. <laughs> um, second, people who clap when they laugh. I feel like, like I dude, go ahead and at funny. me again. You I feel like I yes. Do I do that? I feel like when you when you just like like it's so like we're laughing. <laughs> it's like a good the volume of the laugh is a good volume, and then someone comes in with a fucking <laughs> holy fuck. I'm like, dude. I, now it's not I do funny. that. I feel like I hit my leg like that, it's but I don't clap anymore. my hands like that. No, I think like I think that ample. Like if it's really funny, I'll do it. Like like. For example, when actually, I don't know. I don't think you do when my that. friend got came on by a dog, like I was doing that, like, <laughs> like, bro, that was the funniest moment in my life. Okay, maybe if it's that, but yeah, if it's if, like a normal like laugh, like, yeah, don't be obnoxious with it. Okay, noted. Um, people who Facetime you but don't show their face. Yes. Like, why are we Facetiming? I or fucking Snapchat. Hate that. I'm not a big Snapchat. I but hate it probably that. Would be the same thing. I hate that too. I fucking hate that. Like, it's a ceiling. Yeah. Or just oh a black God, screen. Dude. Like, just dude, call me. just call me or let's just text. Yeah, facts. Like, Fuck. why am I showing my face? Why do I have to be like the one that's like being vulnerable in this situation? Like, I don't look my greatest. Like, no, yeah. You have your phone your right face, here. Man. Like, you have your phone like right under your chin. You're just like. Yeah, I look like a fucking two-prong king. Yeah. You look you like a fucking saying. plug in the wall. Like, like the like two-prong chargers. Phineas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> look like a fat Phidias. Um, Yeah. Second, I mean, th- fourth, people who smell at the gym. Oh, my God. I fucking hate people who smell at the gym. Yeah. You, you can fucking, smell them from two set, like two bro, like machines like, away. Literally, oh. like, it's not even from you sweating, working out hard. Like, no. It's your clothes. You smell like you didn't, you didn't shower for three days or you didn't put deodorant on. Like, figure it out. Holy fuck. And also, I think a like, lot of get that. Get a clue that you smell bad and leave. That's another thing. Like, like get a hint. They don't leave, bro. They stay around. Well, like, obviously, leave. they came, like, smelling bad. You don't think. They didn't start smelling. I I had a lot of experience. They've been on the fucking treadmill. Like, a lot of experience with people that smell bad like that with high school. It always went back to their clothes. They never washed their clothes. Really? So you, they'd reuse, like, shorts over and over again. And, like, everyone would be like, yo, they fucking reek. Well, yeah, he's wore the same shorts every day this week. Or literally just put deodorant on. That too. We have that problem in Mississauga a lot. Oh really? My God. Oh, oh my God. I, I, I understand. We have more uh, cultures in Mississauga. That's not where and I was some going. Some tend to smell. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's pretty fucked. I said cultures. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. They uh, fucking smell, dude. Wait, do you sometimes. have more? No, and then last one is people just smell in general. <laughs> 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 Bro, you did not need to have the people who smell at the gym. You just said people who smell. I know. I, just yeah, wanted, to be, I wanted that last point to be funny. <laughs> Holy, Holy fuck. Um, all right. Fucking, yeah. uh, Put some deodorant on. Dove, men's. Doesn't fucking... Doesn't burn your armpits. Oh, shit. What did I... I changed this question. Um, all right. What's one thing you don't understand about women and why? Okay. Do... <laughs> Do girls like 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 boners? No chance. No chance. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like like, like do they like seeing a dick? Obviously. No chance. No shot. No way. What are you talking Dude, about? Dude, like though? girls like don't like I don't know if like a girl would like to see a nude of a dick. Like that shit's ugly. Bro. Not unsolicited. I think that's well, creepy. Yeah, yeah, no man, shit, no man. Shit, dude. <laughs> I'm saying like I know what you're if, saying. You're saying like Bro, it's like, like Girls, I don't think find the dick attractive. I agree. It's like what it's, do they find attractive? They they like the size of a dick, but they they like the whole body more. Like that? you need to be like fit, like no. or just like a good shape, good physique, or like a good like frame. But bro, like I don't think like girls like feeling dick. They like rubbing their ass on dick. But as a boner itself, like do you do you think that's attractive? Think about it like this chance. Think about it like this chance. Like getting a pic of a girl like. Just her vagina. You ever see that? <laughs> Not my thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just pulled it super bad. Super bad. And I'm really happy you got that in. But like, no, I'm, what he's saying is like getting, you know, girls sending you stuff, it's attractive. But like, 
Bro, your cock's ugly as fuck. Yeah, well. like, it's like girls sending, thinking, like, bro, you girls sending girls girls are like, oh, like, sweetie, that. No, no, just, just like, penises, like, bro. A lot of di- like, like, you see a mushroom in general in a... are gross. Bro. Yeah, it's like a little mushroom in the grass, gross bro. To girls. I, I think, think girls like the feeling of it. I don't think like if you like were sexing a girl and you sent your like a like, picture, a picture dick, of your dick, they'd be like, yo, like, what oh, the like, fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Like it's like, I didn't want like, they'd rather probably see a picture of your arms or your like body, abs. Like, what? Not, yes. Definitely, bro. I think so, dude. Definitely. Because if you're like sexting a chick and you send her a pic of your bicep. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, maybe I worded that wrong. <laughs> maybe I worded that wrong. No, but like a girl but, can send I'll a picture in the I'll mirror. I'll try that. I'll try that. No, a girl can send a Holy shit. A girl oh my can god, send a picture so of like a bikini, right? right? <laughs> you're gonna be in a conversation with a chick. No. Oh my god, are you feeling this right now? Yup. You just <laughs> <laughs> with the fur pad on. Okay, listen to this. Yeah. A girl wears a bikini, takes a picture in the mirror. That's hot as fuck. Like I I'm attracted to that. Yes. Yeah. A guy wearing a speedo just <laughs> showing off his cock, guarantee they don't find that attractive. Oh well, yeah, he's wearing That's what I'm saying. Like, do you think a cock itself is attractive. No. No way. Like, there's no way girls a like. Hard dick? They like dick, but like, seeing one might be like I a little. I think a hard dick is more attractive than a soft dick. Well, for you, for maybe. For sure. For you, maybe. What do you. Dude, in a girl's <laughs> perspective, bro. I know, I'm just kidding. No, I agree with that statement, but like, well, yeah. a limp Dude, dick is so I don't think they're not attracted to it. They have to be. They're well, like, I don't think they're attracted they're to it like we're like, attracted to tits. I agree with well, that. yeah, because guys are just like more fucking horny. But I think like tits are beautiful. Penises, like they're just oddly shaped. Like I've yeah, heard girls, girls bodies like... bodies in general are like like beautiful, more beautiful. Great. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like the guy, you look at a guy, we're not that great. Like, I don't think that makes like them less attracted to dicks just because they have more beautiful bodies. I think they are attracted to getting dick, but not necessarily <laughs> seeing dick. That's what I'm getting at. Right. I wonder. I, like, I agree. Like, I, I, love, agree I love seeing tits, but I'm like, I'm an ass guy, but like, I love seeing them. Do you know what I mean? But like, I'm, if there's a girl, there's no girl that's like, yo, I just want to see cocks. Like, yo, do you have any pictures of cocks? Yeah. Like, you know that's what I mean? That's so true, bro. It's like every guy wants to go and see tits. That's so true, dude. That's like, true. when do you remember you're seeing your first tits? No girl's like, when do you remember seeing your first cock? Yeah, that's true. I would be curious to see what people say about this. Yeah. I would be too. Chance, what do you got? What do you, what's something you don't understand about women? I don't understand. <laughs> no way my phone. Oh, I thought my phone was dead. Hold up. Sorry, guys. Fur doesn't Ferb doesn't fucking pass the face ID test. I'd actually put it in. You guys look pretty similar. Green letty. Yeah, it's know. probably just a green letty. That's yeah, probably, it. <laughs> probably just that. Um, I don't understand why girls love wearing a men's oversized T-shirt to bed. I just doesn't. I think like you go to going to bed first of all with just like any clothes on for me specific. Obviously for like me, like I only wear underwear to bed. Cause like everything gets like crumpled and like, I feel uncomfortable and like, I already have the sheets on. So like, I don't need anything else like other than that on my skin. So girls like, love wearing oversized why shirts. do yeah. girls wear oversized shirt? First of all, oversized is like, I get it. Like the tits and stuff, you know, you need to be comfortable. Yeah. But like oversized gets all crimp. Like it could get like tied up if you move around at night at all. I feel like it's their boobs. What about it's gotta boobs? be like they, the they boobs. They just gotta be like, hold, held somewhere like covered. They can't just yeah, go to bed it's like, naked. And yeah, they're not going to wear a bra because it's uncomfortable. Yeah. Mm. So you can't wear a bra. So you want to wear something, but you want to wear something that you're... Remember, like, like, it's girls like always wearing say a trash when they take bag. it off, it's like, oh, I feel better. But like you're not just going to like have your top off because then they're just flying. Yeah, like imagine so if someone walks into the room. What's going to be covered? A tight shirt to bed sucks. So you you don't want to wear like... A, like some girls wear sports bras, but even that is like tight. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> I think we just proved you... I think Zaps made a little more sense. Yeah, I think you guys are right. <laughs> okay, that's okay, for, uh Anyways, boys, next last question here. Give me a shark, your Shark Tank business pitch. If you were to go on today and you're looking at Mark Cuban in the face, what's your product? What's your business? What's your app? Tell me. How about you be the shark today? Phineas the shark. Okay, I'm Phineas you the got shark. The beak, you got a, basically a fin on coming out of your head right now. I do have a fin coming out of my head. I am a shark. So hat, I no am, hat. All right, Perry. I'm going to give you a really good pitch. I want Perry to go first. Okay. Okay. So my pitch... Uh, sharks. Yep. I'm seeking a lot of money for ten percent of my company. Okay. Um, basically, my company is going to be a, another sports broadcasting network 
Okay. Yep. And we're going to have rights to all the NCAA games. We're going to have rights to all the NFL, MLB. Yep. You know, we're going to get UFC even in there. Okay, we're going to have all. Because right. I'm fucking Perry, the platypus. Okay. You're going to steal it from Doof. Exactly. <laughs> so we do our mission there. We get all that shit, right? We get social media influencers that are in the, the sports realm okay. to guest host with a main host or character that announces the games like a red zone style. Mm -hmm. But instead of all of the announcing being based on like a network and history of the game and, and play by play necessarily, it can be more announced towards sports betting, sports prop bets, live bets, and you will never miss a minute of any game going on because it's like the red zone style. So you can go from in and out. You can be interactive while you sports bet yep. while you watch it. People are giving you tips, hints. You hear the crews, picks on the game like you have espn's predictions yep. and then you can actually interact and bet based on their thoughts about that and if it's a live bet you know oh there'd be an opportunity for live bet what this is why i think it could be a possibility for the dolphins to come back this this game like we're talking mm -hmm. this game or like why this is probably not the best pick so this would strictly be a complete nfl red zone commentated oriented with sports betting so everything is Keep me, keep me in check here. Everything's revolving sports betting, not actually as much focusing on, you know, I'm obviously slant right here yeah. or something like that. You know how like the Mannings go super in depth about the actual sports side of it? Yes. This is strictly like more betting focused, correct? Yes. And I think like still announcing the game, yep. but based on like their stats. So got like it. obviously like, and that's, uh, you know, Trevor Lawrence with a complete pass, just reaching about 60 yards there in the first quarter. We're looking for this. Going on to this next mm. pick, blah, blah blah, like stuff like that, or like who would be your top three creator, top five creators if you had to? Who's in your list? I think you'd be good, Christian Camerata. Yeah, I think like you'd be a good announcer. Word, I'm fucking um, with it. No, I don't think I'm a big enough name, but I like where your heads at. Well, yeah, I just cool. think like someone like you. Um, I think Destroying would be pretty good to have yep. up there. I like that name. Um, I think like uh Matthew Meager. He does like a good lot one. of stuff with Madden. Good I think one. like that would be a good collab. Yeah. Um. And yeah, obviously, like expanding more, like there's celebrities that just do sports, and For I sure. think like they can get in on it, because I think it's too much of a, like too corporate, co too corporate, and like a, so much. There's almost like a stigma of sports betting, like I agree, and like I feel like if it's more just like you don't have to waste all your money and be a fucking degenerate and just like put a little amount of money and have fun with it, like mm -hmm. you can have you can get into it. What I think you should do is like have a company like twit or twitch or kick yes buy the rights to like the the biggest thing is getting the rights like these are billion dollars worth of rights to these like sports leagues yeah um but if you could buy the rights like kick and allow any creator on kick to stream the games yes that would be fucking insane because that now would be you cool. are creating like creators on top of the leagues and not only is it really good for the leagues because like it's now like if you give every single creator on that platform it's not only good for the kick because every creator is going to want to be on that platform yeah but it's also good for the leagues and the creators because the leagues are going to have like unlimited more reach yeah because of like all the content that's being made around their games for that week so true and yeah. the creators are going to be able to make like crazy sick content yeah because they have access to the rights of these yeah. games and you could like you could do crazy stuff like that where you could commentate over it. Like maybe you could you know you could turn on like this type of audio. Like you could keep right. play, play on. But, yeah. Like, remove color commentating, and like you could become that col color commentator, or you could just completely have it like no audio and you're the only one talking. Yeah, and you're talking to chat and shit. Yeah, and then you could make it interactive in the sense of like if it is kick, you also have like stake involved, and make it like a. A yeah, live gambling thing too. Yeah, that'd be sick. Great idea, Perry. I'm in. I fucking love that shit, dude. Good fucking chance. What do you got for me? Okay. I feel like you got something weird here. No, it's. I think it's good. It's usable in my life. I would buy it. <laughs> All right. All right. Phineas the shark. Mm -hmm. I have an alarm clock for you. That's actually gonna work. Okay. Let's face it. 
ninety percent of people hit that snooze button. When is that an actual fact? Off. Is that an actual fact? It is. I'll fact check that. It could be because it could be because they're tired. However, it's probably just because they're lazy and have a lack of motivation to get up out of bed that morning. Okay. But when we do get up and we're ready for the day, we look back and we're like, wow, I feel great. I'm ready to go. But we just needed that like boost of motivation and discipline to take those first steps to get out of bed and not just go back to sleep for those 10 to 30 minutes. You know, I agree. hundred percent. So sharks, I'd like shark. Mm-hmm. I'd like to pre- present to you the GTFU mirror. The GTFU mirror. Yes. It's an AI mirror that sets up in your bathroom. However, to turn it off, you need to complete a set of predetermined parameters specifically set for you. So that could be as something as simple as just brushing your teeth, uh, or it could be as something as extraordinary as brushing your teeth, making your bed, getting changed, packing your lunch, and packing your lunch. And then the and alarm then goes, it off. goes off. I love this. So this mirror... Yeah. We'll recognize the steps that you took in the morning, which are completed, and turn off the alarm when you have completed those steps. So, Shark, let's get the, let's GTF you and jump into the deep end on this deal. I kind of like it. Dude. Except I like, can't fuck. That was fucking awesome, dude. Wow, that, good, that was incredible. Was that like, a good pitch? Yeah, yeah like, technically, fucking... I don't know how it would work, but like... So it's an AI mirror, like it sees what you're doing. Yeah, but like my mirror stays in that bathroom. How's it gonna know when my lunch is ready? Well, you just walk over and say, I got my lunch ready. Shit. <laughs> Could it be as easy as just pressing the button on the screen? No, it's no, gotta because read it. it it's can't, gotta read it. it, it you're not gonna put that easy mode on. No, because it because that's just another alarm clock. It's yeah, another alarm clock. Yeah, turn but you're actually off. getting up to turn it off. No, no, but, but that's, that's like you not... can put your phone in the room and do the same thing. Exactly. Yeah. I, I put Fuck my, me, right? I've tried my phone. <laughs> I've tried my phone in the bathroom, in the fucking closet, outside in the hallway. Yeah, you're a lost I just cause. get up to turn it off and I go back. But this mirror could could really change the way people, you know, go about their daily lives. It's the GTFU. It stands for get the fuck up. Oh, really? I didn't get that. <laughs> I kind of figured that's what it stood for. I was thinking, what does that mean? Get the fuck up. I kind of, but dude. You got me. You didn't really give me a percentage or a number, but I'm in. You know what? I'm going to give you 100% for no money. Dude. I'm donating today on the Shark Tank. Guys, that's the episode. James, that was fucking sick. It was. Let's go, dude. All right. That was a really good episode. Episode 58. What? 58? Episode 58, guys. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I thought that was a really good episode. Halloween. Happy Halloween. If you're going out tonight, be safe. Have fun. Get after it. Be a fucking tool. I don't give a fuck. Have fun. Subscribe, like, comment. Let's peace out from Phineas Ferb and Perry. Peace. Perry the poot, Perry the douchebag. <laughs>